Hi, I'm Nadine, and I'm here with Genevieve, who most recently you will recognize from Caprica. She also has a couple new movies coming out this year. Um, so, to start with, how did you get into acting? Um, I was nine years old, and no, actually, I was eight years old. I started acting when I was nine, and I told my mom I wanted to be an actor. But when I was a kid, I always had, I want to be this, I want to be that, and I'd never follow through with any of it. I'd get dance lessons, and then after a few weeks of it, I decided I didn't want to dance anymore, or stuff like that. And my mom said, all right, if you want to be an actor, you have to go get yourself an agent. There's a lot of stuff to do with being an actor, and you have to go do this by yourself so that I can tell that you actually want to do this. So I said, all right. And I asked my grandparents to pay for an acting class for me, and I knew that they had a show at the end of the class, and I'd heard that agents will go to the shows and see if there's anyone they want to sign. So I did the show, and there was an agent there, it was Robert K. and he um, called and said, I'd like to have a meeting with you. And my mom said, all right, you did it, you got yourself an agent, I support you 100% and I will help you out. So I got signed with an agency, Carrier Talent, and started really quickly right after that. Actually, my first role was a lead, which is like one in a million chance. And I got to go to Toronto and film for a month and I was nine and I had my birthday on set and they got me a cake and everything. <laughs> and that was St. Monica and then I just kept going. My mom said, you can stop whenever you want and then, no, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> so what have you found the biggest challenges so far? And with acting or just... Yeah, to, well, and as you were young when you started? Mostly at school. It was hard to keep up with school. Um, you'd miss a lot of it. You had to go to auditions. And if I'm going to pick, you know, PE class or an audition, I'm going to pick the audition. And a lot of my teachers didn't like that. Um, they said that school was more important at that moment, but I really didn't see how I needed to run around and play volleyball. <laughs> So that was hard to keep up and your social life sometimes when you're a kid everyone let's go have a sleepover right now but I'd have to go work and I decided to go work instead and I'm happy I did because I do have friends now um, so that was really hard to deal with school I moved a lot of schools um, I went to an alternative school and they were really supportive for a while because I was bullied pretty badly in my first two schools which were my mom wanted me to go to a nicer school because the school in our neighborhood was not very safe. It wasn't a nice school. And when I went to the nicer schools, the kids were very mean to me because I didn't have the nice new clothes and my mother's a single parent mother and they had married parents and they thought I was weird and wrong. So I got to go to an alternative school for kids who'd been bullied or who had learning disabilities. and. Um, they were really supportive and nice. We got to do our own things. I actually wouldn't read when I was little because I'm dyslexic and the teachers would get angry at me at the old schools if I couldn't read properly and it wasn't my fault. <laughs> and I learned to read at Windsor House, which was the alternative school where I didn't have lessons necessarily. They didn't take me into a classroom and say, you need to learn right now. I did it on my own and now I read like two novels in a week. Um, that school was really supportive. They wanted me to go. They wanted me to be happy with doing what I wanted. Mostly it was public schools that I had the hardest time with in acting because they don't like it. <laughs> so what are some, one of the challenges you faced is that you have epilepsy. So how has that affected your work? How is it? Well, I found out about it last year. It didn't start until last year. Um, I started having bike outs. It, I didn't have convulsion seizures. I would just zone out. I wouldn't be there. I would, I would act like a toddler. I'd wander around and try and open locked cupboards and have people talk to me. I just couldn't answer them, and I'd just shake my head. I didn't know what was going on. And I would come out of it, and I'd have absolutely no memory whatsoever of it and I started recording how many I was having and I was having them about twice a week. So I went into the doctor and I got CAT scan and MRIs and, and it's because I have a scar in my brain, on the left side of my brain. And we started doing different medication so that I would stop having the seizures. We found that one, one that worked, but I was always really scared that if I was on set, I was gonna have a seizure. 
and that would not be good, obviously. In the middle of a scene, just kind of wandering off, that would, that would be bad. And I was worried that if people on set found out that I have epilepsy, they would, they would say, well, we don't want to deal with any medical stuff, so we're not going to have you on the set, we're not going to hire you, we're not going to keep you on the show. But I have a medication that works, and I don't have the seizures anymore, and I'm still working, and it's, it's really good. I was so scared last year that it was going to stop me and stop me from doing what I love. And I found out that a lot of people actually have it. I didn't know how many people had it because at my old school I had to tell the teachers and tell the students that I would maybe have seizures because I was going through finding a medicine that would work. And there was about five other kids in my class who also had epilepsy. I had no idea my art teacher has epilepsy. She's the one who told me to go get checked for it, actually. And I was really surprised. I didn't know it was that common. I felt less scared about it. But mostly I was just really happy that it was okay for me to still be on set so I could still do what I love doing, even though I have epilepsy. And even though it's a medical condition, it's under control, and I can still do my acting. I was so scared that it was going to take it away from me and it didn't at all. And I could get brain surgery if I wanted. Um, I could have the scar removed, but so far the medication is working just fine and I would have to be in the hospital for a while and I'm absolutely terrified of the hospital. I'm an absolute baby. I go to the clinic and I start crying. It's, it's like, you're getting a check see if you have the flu. Just calm down. You're just going to sit, sit on the table and have the doctor listen to your heart. Why are you crying? I'm such a panicker at the hospital and having to deal with going through brain surgery, I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. I would be really, really scared and it would be really difficult. But if I have to, I can have it taken out and there's a really high percentage that'll get rid of my epilepsy completely. But so far I haven't had to. I have the drugs that I need. Um, I'm still working so I don't see any need for me to go and have my brain cut up. <laughs> what are some of the things you like the most? In acting? Yeah. Meeting people. Yeah. You get to meet so many cool people. You get to do so many different things. Yeah, the stuff you get to do, too. I mean, how many times in your life are you going to be able to say, I got to be shot, <laughs> or, you know, I got to jump off a building. You get to do crazy things. You get to meet people. You get to learn new things. I've learned a lot, actually, from scripts, just different lines. It'll be facts that I didn't know before. Um, mostly it's meeting people, though, and getting to know everybody and getting to know everyone's job and... Everyone, I say, it's a big team. I mean, if everyone doesn't work together, it doesn't work. It doesn't happen. You can't make a movie unless everyone is putting their part in. And it was interesting to learn what everybody on set had to do, not just the acting. I don't just pay attention to myself. I pay attention to, you know, what the ADs have to do and what the stunt coordinators have to do. And it's, it's all just, I'm learning something new every time I go to set. So, do you have a favorite movie or favorite TV show? I don't have TV, I don't watch cable, oh, okay. which a lot of people make fun of me for, that you're an actor and you don't watch TV, but I have some TV series on, on DVD. I like all movies. I can always find something I like, even in the worst movies. <laughs> I find one little bit that I do like. Um, I don't think I have a favorite yeah. movie. They're all my favorite movies. <laughs> all right. Um, is there a show airing right now that besides Caprica, that you'd like to have a role in, if you could pick any. I don't, I don't know what's coming out. I don't, have, I don't have cable. I wait until they're out and wait until I hear what people say about it, and then I'll check it out if I want to. Okay, so your, um, your resume so far has been pretty broad in terms of genres. Mm -hmm. So is there a specific genre you'd like to do more work in, or that's been your favorite to work in? I actually really like sci-fi. So far, it's I've gotten to do a lot of stuff on the sci-fi work, like Caprica, that I never got to do before. A lot of the time, before it would be you know a drama, and I'd have to be a sad, <laughs> sad molested child or something, something depressing like that. Whereas on a, a sci-fi show, I've gotten to you know again be shot, use squibs for the first time, be put in a harness, learn fight choreography. So I'd like to do a lot more in sci-fi. It's lots of fun. Okay, so on those veins with Caprica, what was it first that you, um, was there a point when you sort of clicked with Tamara? Yeah. <laughs> in the episode where she realizes that she is dead and she's not in the real world and she can't leave 
the alternative world. She just says, she says, takes it and goes, all right, I can, I can deal with this. I'll make this work. I do that if I'm in a situation where I don't understand something. I'll figure out a way to make it work. So when she did that, I was happy. I was happy she didn't just have a complete meltdown and have a temper tantrum and, you know, lie on the floor kicking her feet going, no, this isn't fair. The fact that she said, okay, fine, I'll manage, and then goes off and, and takes control of everything and knows what she's doing. So I guess that that's the aspect of her that you like the most. Yeah, that she can adapt. She can adapt pretty quickly. Is there some facet of her character that you like the least that you'd like to see change well she's she goes through quite a lot of changes so you know first she's preppy she's talking to her dad in the pilot going shopping with her mom and then the next thing she's crying and panicking in this black room and she doesn't know what's going on and she's confused so she's sad and crazy and then she gets taken out and into the v world and again, she takes control of it. So she goes through a lot, and it's really nice because I get to try and do lots of different things, not just, you know, sad, lost girl. <laughs> so. So did you have a favorite episode to work on? Favorite scenes there to do? There is another Scott. It was definitely, oh, okay. that was the big one that I got to do, where I got to make the switch from Scared Confused Girl into I Own This Place. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was the first time I got to use guns. I'd never done that before on any set, and the squibs, they let me do a practice squib. Actually, the video, they, they recorded it for me, and it's very funny. I'm in a stunt trailer, and it's a little explosive <sighs> that they put on oh, okay. you to make it look like you've been shot. It's the little poof. <laughs> and they gave me a sand one, so there was no blood. <laughs> and we were in the little the stunt, the, the truck. And I have a t-shirt on, and I, I look scared. I've never done this before. They're strapping the explosive to me. And um, they've got it under the shirt, and they say we're going to count down and set it off. And I'm like, okay, okay. Looking scared in the video, you can tell I'm really nervous. It goes off, it's this puff, and it's just a pat. It doesn't feel like anything. It's like, that's that. It, you can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. It's not, it's not a sharp pain or anything like that. It's just kind of like a shove. And I started laughing because I was so scared. I was like, this is going to blow me backwards. I'm going to fall on my butt. But then it happened. It was just a little pat, and I thought it was hilarious. So that was the first time I got to use squibs on set. And with the blood packs, that was fun. All gooey and gross and gore. <laughs> and the guns. Um, when we were doing a scene, the first time I got to use the guns was when we were doing the scene with Vesta, where she tells me I'm dead, and I pull out the guns and shoot everybody. Um... They asked if I'd used them before, and I said no. So they took me down into the basement of that restaurant that we were filming in, and they said, we're going to give you a test. We're going to give you the test go so you can, you can be ready for what's going to happen. And I, ha I asked if I could do it again. <laughs> we got to practice with it, and it was so much fun, and we all had to have earplugs because they're loud. They're as loud as a gun. And I, want I wanted to keep doing it. <laughs> can I do it again? Can I, can I practice again? I don't know if I have this under control yet. Maybe, maybe I should do it again. Do you think I could maybe practice more? Because they were so much fun. So, um, as a viewer, you've said you watched the show. Do you have a favorite episode? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, other sky. than no, um, other than that one. The last one. The um, there is another line because okay. everyone it's it's the end of the they're starting again in the fall they're gonna show the last half but in that episode everyone's story kind of it's on a little bit of a cliffhanger so that was the end like, what's gonna happen next <laughs> yeah so was there a scene or an episode in particular with which you had more difficulty or was your least favorite to do? I didn't have any least favorite. It was all <laughs> fun. Um, the most difficult one would probably honestly be the one in the pilot. When I'm when my dad comes to get me in the virtual world and I'm scared and freaking out. That one, that took a while. It was a long day. I mean, we didn't have like a set to go off. It was just, we were just in nothing. So with absolutely nothing to go off of except for me and Isai, that was that was a little challenging because I didn't have any space to put myself in, and it was just panic the whole time. That's 
pretty hard sometimes just to stay that scared and that panicky for a whole day. That was, that was probably the hardest one. So Caprica uses a fair amount of green screen. Um, is this the first time that you've worked with green screen? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and have you found it particularly challenging? It's kind of fun, actually, because then you get to imagine your own place. So whenever there was a green screen, I wasn't saying, oh, a green wall. All right. <laughs> I imagined my own city. I imagined my own place. So it wasn't that hard. It was exciting. Again, it was the first time I'd gotten to do anything with green screen before. So it was neat. They always build part of the set, though. It wasn't all green screen, obviously. So that was interesting. It'd be in this big room with a bedroom built in the middle. And then everything else was bright green. And if we, when we lean out the window or, or the background, it, it was all green screen. So if I can look out the window, just look at green. But it was interesting. They'd build these sets. They were all really amazingly done. And then green everywhere. There wasn't a whole house. It just felt kind of, it was kind of strange because it looked like a, it was a real room and then nothing outside. The first day it gave me a little bit of a headache staring at so much green for so many hours. But after that it was fine, it was fun. You have these little blue lights everywhere and everybody has to make sure they wear little foot booty protectors, so little blue slippers so they don't get dirt on the ground. Um, so is there another character that you'd like to see Tamara share some more scenes with or sort of confront? I love Sam's character. He's in my family, and I never really had anything to work with him on. He, that I love his character. It's, he's, he's cool. He's badass. <laughs> <laughs> I like his character. I like the fact that he's openly gay and doesn't have a problem with that. I know I have a lot of friends who are, and it's nice to see that the, the show is saying it's okay about this because I have a lot of friends who are having a really hard time dealing with that, and it's not nice to see. And I was really happy. He's such a... He's, he's a gangster. He's got his... He, kills people, he's got all his tattoos, he's a very intense person, but then he's got the boy that he's with, and it's really nice to see, and they didn't make a big deal out of it, it's just that's how it is, and I love that, I love the character, I think it would be really neat to have Tamara and Sam meet. So, is there another actor that you'd like to work with? I mean, on the <laughs> yeah, aside from... Hmm. I didn't get to work very much with Lacey's character. I didn't have any storyline tied with hers, really. It would be neat to see what would happen with them, because, I mean, all the other girls, they, like, Zoe and, and Lacey, they have their part together. It would be interesting to see what would happen if they put Lacey and Tamara together. Okay, so what aspect have you found most challenging about working on Caprica? Caprica? Probably the, the hours. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing about the actual episodes, but we had to do so, so much. It was fun. Like, I was always having a good time on set. I was always awake. I was ready to go, but then I'd go home and I'd be unconscious instantly. We had some pretty long days because we had so, to do so much, and it was a lot of the stuff that I was doing was, again, like squibbing and, and action stuff and, and learning how to use the gun. So we had long days, and it was, it was a little bit hard, and I'd get home and just be unconscious and have to get up again at 5 in the morning and go back to set. Once I got to set, I was always eager to go, but in the morning, I want to get up. So that was probably the hardest thing. Like, working on set, that's not. It's always, it's always fun. I've never had a bad time on set. I always have a good time. So a fair amount of you guys working on Caprica are Canadian, right? Had you worked with any of them before? No, I'd met some of them before, but I'd never worked with the characters that I'd met before. I'd never worked with too many of them. I actually, I worked with Eve, who is one of the people in the in the V World where that I meet. She's she's one of the people at the door when I go in and see Vesta. Oh, okay. I've worked with her before. Um, I see her at auditions. Again, that's some of the characters and people who are working on that show, I've seen them at auditions. I've seen them working around. I haven't worked too much one-on-one -on -one with any of them, but... So, as a Canadian actor, um, you've been trying to get some work in the States. Mm -hmm. What have some of the challenges been with that? Well, I'd have to get a work visa, and there's all that. That's hard to do when you're working a bunch right now. I'd have to be allowed to go down there and work. I can still audition, but if I booked something, I'd have to go through and get all of that done. It's a little hard, and also... You can't really just go down there and film something. You have to kind of stay there for a while and you know the people. And if I went down there, I'd have to live there for, for quite a few months, which I'd be willing to do, but 
right now I'm working here and it's been I've been having a good time and, and I've been really lucky here in the last little while so booking fairly consistently here and then going right down to LA I'm worried about that that's gonna be a little strange and moving to a completely new city and I'd have to go by myself I have friends who work down there and live down there so I wouldn't be completely on my own but my family would be up here and that would be a little weird. <laughs> so can you tell us about any of the things you're working on now or that are going to be coming out in the next little while? Um, I worked on a movie called Elopement. Actually, I filmed that and an episode of Cap at the same time. Oh. They somehow managed to schedule it so on my days off from working on Caprica, I'd go to the other set and work on elopement. So basically, it was a week and a half, two weeks of no weekend, <laughs> no break, <laughs> which was fine, but I'd have to jump characters, switch who they were, so I was working on that one. Um, and right now, actually in Victoria, I'm working on something called Bond of Silence. Okay. Um, and they're flying me back and forth again every other day. Actually, I just got back yesterday. We just had a poster shoot, and had to fly there in the morning, and then fly back in the evening, and flying is a little tiring but it's fun. It gets to be the water plane and I've never gone on the water plane before. I remember the first one I went on was an older plane and it was very rattly. <laughs> I felt like it was it was it was a little scary and it was pretty windy that day too over here and it was just bouncing around and it felt like I was on a toy plane being controlled by a five year old. Just like throwing the plane around, it was scary, it was I was holding the seat <laughs> but the in the, I'm used to it now because I've been going back and forth so much. On the newer planes, it's a lot smoother. But the first time, that was scary. <laughs> and that's it right now. I'm still auditioning. I'll send tapes down to L.A. Still auditioning, still trying to work. But so do you know when Bond of Silence will come out? Yeah. Probably next year. Well, I mean, we're still filming it right now. It's not even finished. I've got until the end of this month that we're working on it. And then... To, have to edit it and the sound and, and everything and then it'll probably be coming out next year. And you worked on a movie, Daydream Nation? Mm -hmm. Is I that had, I had a small part in that. <laughs> That's coming out soon, yeah. right? Yeah, fairly soon. Not not in the next few months, probably a while after that, but that one I liked the script for that one. I got to meet Kat Dennings. Again, meeting people. Like, I've met so many interesting people. I've met Robin Williams and, and Kat Dennings on that set and Luke Perry and just nice to meet people and they're always really nice and a lot of the time people will say oh if, if they're if they're famous if they have a name they're gonna be mean they're gonna be mean to you because you're beneath them not the case at all they were all so nice and so sweet and not just because I was an actor in the show they were when I was little my mom had to come chaperone me they were nice to her they're nice to everybody it was I've never had anyone be awful on set and really prudish because they have a bigger name than you that's never happened so, on a totally different tangent, have you worked on any plays? Um, school plays. <laughs> Nothing else in, like, elementary school. I haven't done theater. My sister does, though. Do you Mark have any Oberner. plans to? Um, if I, if, I don't know. It's, film and theater are completely different acting. Like, with theater, you have to be completely out there and just burst your emotions so that everyone can see it. But with filming... It's completely different because you have to show your emotions, but also try and hide them at the same time because you're being a, a actual person. You don't have to burst everything so the whole theater can hear you. It's very, very different. People say it's the same thing, but it's not. And I'm not really, I haven't done very much theater, so I'd have to start over again and learn a completely new way of acting to do theater. Maybe I'll try it sometime, but right now I'm just going to stick with filming. <laughs> So, is there anything else you want to talk about? Any new projects? Very not. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the questions I have today. But we'll talk again soon. It's not over, son. No, it isn't.